What's up guys, Adaptations here, and today I'm going to show you my top 5 favorite ways to make money on mobile. Now the first thing I'm going to say is if you know me, you know that I love to AFK. So with that in mind, these are going to be my personal top 5 AFK money makers. If I didn't cover your favorite money maker, also be sure to tell me in the comment section below, and maybe I'll include it in another video at a later date. If you find the video helpful or enjoy the content, please leave a like as this helps push the video to more people. That is the easiest way to help out the channel. It's free, and I really do appreciate every single one of you that does this for me. Uh, I think on the last video, we had like 30-some likes, and that's just insane. I really didn't expect to get anywhere near that many. Number five. Number five in this list is something that I've talked about and have trained a lot, and that is cooking. I am absolutely loving cooking. It's just so AFK, and there's so many options to cook. I personally did Sharks in 99, and I've done Sharks for every bit of XP after. As when I looked, they were the highest GP to XP option. I think they're just easy to come by raw on the GE as well. Cooking an inventory lets you AFK for over a minute. Uh, I believe it's 68 seconds with just a few taps. And you can get up to 270,000 XP and GP per hour. Which is really good for how AFK they are. I'm currently almost 200 mil. I think I'm sitting at 185 mil currently in cooking XP. And I've made close to 200 mil from cooking sharks. Make sure that you check the prices before you go to do this because, as always, the prices may change if you're watching this later than January of 2021. My personal favorite place to cook is at the Myths Guild, but you could also cook at the Hosidius House, the Rogue's Den, or the Cooking Guild if you have access to the bank after completing the Varric Hard Diary and get similar XP and GP rates. No matter where you cook, I recommend getting the cooking gauntlets and trying to cook on the range that's the closest to a bank that you have access to for the best GP per hour. If you don't have the level for sharks, you can cook most other fish for profit. Just make sure that you check the prices on what you're able to cook so that you know how much GP per hour you'll be making and try to factor in an accurate burn rate. Number four. Number four on this list is blood rune crafting. Blood rune crafting is honestly a pretty chill way to train rune crafting and make money. It's definitely not as AFK as most other methods on this list, but this is not a method that you should sleep on. When mining the dense essence, which is the most AFK part, it is possible to AFK an entire inventory, which would take just over a minute. If you have the Corinne Elite Diary done, you will receive 668,000 GP per hour and around 37,000 runecrafting XP per hour. So if you're trying to hunt better XP rates as well as money, this will not be it for you, but I I had a really good time doing this while maxing. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure I made between two and 300 mil before, and this was with a lower blood rune price than what they are currently. The worst part about the grind to get to blood runes has to be getting to 77 rune crafting, but even if you just do a few hours of ZMI per day and make this a longer goal, it is worth it, trust me. If you're not 77 rune crafting, you should start leveling right now as you're watching this video. I like this so much, I was debating on doing blood runes after I'm done with cooking to 200 mil. I think in the end I'll do something that I enjoy a little more like Slayer or something with higher XP rates like fire making, but we'll see. The money is really hard to pass on. Number three. Number three is something that I also really enjoy doing. I even have an alt account that I set up specifically to kill them and that is skeletal wyverns. While killing these, I always make sure that I'm in the wyvern CC clan chat so that I can sell off the prayer potions and tooth halves and get the GP for them without losing my spot. They do take a cut of the profit you would get for selling, but considering you don't have to leave your safe spot, I'd argue that it's worth it for sure. This is a super AFK way to make money, and I actually got 99 range and mage here because I just enjoyed it so much. It's been a while since my last video on these, and the seed prices have dropped quite a bit, but the wiki still says that you make around 700k an hour, which is still quite good. You need 72 Slayer to be able to kill these, but it's still AFK and getting 72 Slayer really isn't that bad. In my opinion, it's worth it to cannon or burst as many tasks as you can, just so you can grind to here quicker, as this point is really where Slayer starts getting profitable anyway. Number 2. Next up on the list has to be Brutal Black Dragons. This is another Slayer monster that I spent a lot of time killing. They are really AFK and you don't really have to worry about dying as long as you're not in melee range of the dragon. The method that I use to kill them is just to teleport to my house, use the mounted Xerix Talisman to teleport to Xerix Inferno, run over to the entrance to Brutals, get a full inventory, teleport back to my house, use my rejuvenation pool, go to the GE off my jewelry box, 
throw everything into my dump tab, and then do it all over again. Using this method, I get about 1 mil per hour on average at Brutals, and it's super AFK. This is such a good way to make extra money while you're just doing anything else in real life. I've done quite a lot of Brutals while working, and while a passenger in the car on long drives. I will also definitely be coming back here once I get a T-Bow to AFK some gold to buy back some of my gear. Which should be happening in the next few weeks. These do have a Slayer requirement of 77, so make sure that you're aware of that before trying to kill them. But 77 Slayer to unlock a 1 mil per hour money making method is super good and I really recommend that you do it. Number 1. Number one on the list is the highest requirement on this list, but is also the most profitable by far. So I'm sure that most of you already know that I'm talking about Rune Dragons. They are also pretty AFK. Not as AFK as Brutals or Wyverns. So if you want more AFK and less profit, then I recommend those. However, coming in at 1.6 mil an hour, these are by far the best money making on this list. I recently sold my bank off except for my Rune Dragon gear and plan on camping these until I get a T-Bow. When I sold everything, I was like 150 mil away, and I AFK these while I work, while I play Call of Duty, and really while I'm doing anything other than spending time with my girlfriend. I actually will have a loot video coming soon on these as well, that I'm going to sell off once I get enough for the Twisted Bow. These do require a Dragon Slayer 2, which is a quest with a lot of requirements, but if you like questing or need a better money maker than what you have available to you, then you will not be sorry for putting in the work to be able to kill these. My cash stack has grown substantially since starting to AFK these more. I really did sleep on these for a while because it wasn't as AFK as Brutals, and I feel quite silly now for being so anti Rune Dragons in the past. Okay guys, I think that's it for my top 5 AFK moneymakers in Old School RuneScape for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If I missed your favorite AFK moneymaker, please let me know down in the comments what your favorite methods are, and I might include them in another video in the future. If you enjoyed the video, my Twitch and Twitter links will be in the description. I'd love to see you guys in the stream sometime. Uh, and I occasionally will post on Twitter random updates about the account if you're interested in keeping up with those. Alright, well, I'll see you guys either in the next stream or the next video. Bye!